we have learned about controllers and providers and you may notice that we have encountered modules numerous of times especially when registering new controllers and providers an application should have minimum of one module also known as root module let's take a look into nest.js documentation itself head over to docs.nest.js.com and click on the module section here it says here that a module is a class annotated with a module decorator and the decorator will provide metadata that nest make use of to organize the application structure so this is the keyword provides metadata for nest to organize the application structure to demonstrate this concept i've prepared a repository for you to download and try head over to this url which i will provide in the description and download the example click on download and then copy this here head over to vs code clone repository paste the url i will go to my desktop where my project is and paste it here now that it has opened let's try to see what i have here you can see that I removed the controller, app the controller, app dot service as well, and some other file, and it just have main .ts. Alongside with it, I have my app folder. Inside my app folder, I have my app module. Together with it, I have my user and notification module. So I have organized all of this inside here, so that we can see better overview of what we will do. Now, if you are writing from scratch. I will press Ctrl and back to here. Usually, I will run um, Nest G more for module, and then App, which will create this App folder here, together with App module inside. And then I will do the same for User. It will do the same and put it inside the User folder. Again, for notification inside the notification folder as well. After that let's say if i want to create the controller of user i just type in co for controller and then for service s for service so it will automatically automatically detect and put those provider inside here when you type in nest g service for app slash user it will automatically register it here together with the controller if you generate the controller etc etc now before i proceed i need to run npm install first to actually download all the dependencies so this will take some time um, i will pause the video now that the installation is complete let's try to run npm run start dev and for you to understand what's happening here let's try to take a look into the postman here i have three endpoints one is to get list of users so localhost 3000 slash user with get method will return me a list of user and then i have the same endpoint with post method again so this one is to create a new user and finally the one we want to discuss is a notification endpoint so when i send the payload here i want to send notification to those that has the um, notified as true so example will be if i want to send um, weekly newsletter to those who accept the term maybe or they want to be notified as true so they will get the weekly newsletter that's pretty uh, basic example here now let's see inside our user service and also user controller so inside here let's try to um, and I try to minimize this all right okay now i have post which was which was explained just now and also get to list down all of the server so what happened here is whenever i create a new user let's take a look into the user service it will push this value here into this user um, variable here so this user variable or property here will store all of the user record as long as the application here is running until it is closed it will store the value whenever it is closed then uh, those value will be gone 
um, this has been explained in detail in my previous video so check the videos out now the one we are interested in is our notification controller and service let's try to open this and I will try to split this into right let's try to close this here I don't want the user model alright let's see here I have a post with a service of notify user method try to open this so this one is pretty empty right now let's try to open our constructor here and create or inject our user service private read only user service and then our user service here I will click on auto import add a calibrations here and let's try to run our code so I want to get list of user once users or I think users go to this dot user service dot find out so I will look through these users for constant user as in singular of users as in plural console dot log user we will try to run this simple code first let's try to save this and see what actually happening we are greeted with an error here it says that inside my notification service which is this one here it says that the first parameter is not being understood it says that I cannot understand what this user service is did you inject it somewhere did you put it as provider we can see that it tried to provide a solution for us is it a provider is it part of the notification module so let's try to solve this head over to notification module and try to register user um, sorry user um, service here try to save it and the error should be gone by now let's try to run let's try to create a new user for example um, Sam he don't want to be notified let's try to get list of user so I get Sam here and let's try to send notification let's see what we can expect we will expect to get a console log of something so let's try to run what's happening I'm not re receiving actually anything so let's try to console log here console log then postman let's try to create again try to get list of user and try to send a notification it says here that the user is actually empty which user is it being referenced to so let's try to console log here as well console.log this.users you can see that the result is actually pretty different so again I will repeat the same process again I create new user make sure the user is there and I will try to send notification you can see that the first one I have same value here same object here but here I don't have anything so something is actually wrong what's happening behind the scene is let's take a look inside the notification module itself remember in the last video I said that this is a singleton so whenever you register something inside provider it is creating a new instance of it so in this case uh, let's try to see our user module here this one here is a new instance of user service so imagine it is being created new user service and then let's see from our user service we have a private users so this new user service and I'll try imagine that this is a comment so this new user service the user is it correct is it plural okay dot users has this value right but then when I go to my notification stuff here <laughs> it is actually creating a new instance so this one here is empty so they are not referring to the same exact user property that I want I want here but here you give something else because it is a new all right so what I can do is um, to try to solve this is I can export this all right user service here and then I can remove this 
and you can see that I have done it for you I import the user model here let's try to save everything let's make sure everything is run and let's try to create this again I will create Sam make sure I get the list of user which includes Sam let's try to send notification you can see that now they speak the same language now they are speaking the same language what does this mean is this one is actually using the instance of the user module you can understand this in um, let's say I want to import something um, from China for example maybe China is a good manufacturer so they are good with something so I want to make use of their specialty their expertise so that way I don't have to actually redo the whole thing here we can go into the module concept provided by Next.js it says that this module concept here help us to manage complexity and develop with solid principle if you don't know what solid principle is um, you can click here which brings us to Wikipedia it says that solid principle is an acronym for single responsibility so in our case we want our project here to has their own responsibility user has their own responsibility notification as well have their own responsibility here now this is pretty nice and we can see some error that could happen if you didn't follow it right uh, it's not actually an error but more to uh, edge cases like this case here so i will remove this now let's say um i create two users here so i'm going to save this save everything else make sure there's no round like this let's try to create sam and also um, so run again example send make sure our list is correct I have two users right now and let's try to send a notification in a ideal example I will expect only um, only is a friend within oh, okay that's not right let's try to create um, maybe Michael So I will expect only Michael to get the notification. So let's try to send the notification. It seems like all three of them actually being notified, which is um, not good. Maybe we are spamming the user, something they shouldn't get notified with. So let's try to head over to our service and see how we can improve this. And then I will close some of the things that we are not using. Let's see our user service and notification service. So this one actually written all. So following the single responsibility from solid principle. So I will try to put here find user with notification enabled. So instead of I'm returning this dot user, I could just this dot find all, and then dot. Since this I'm returning an array of user, I could type in here return array of user and then dot um, filter let's check here what filter does um, google js array filter array filter here and the website here explain in depth about um, filter so we are going to filter by creating a new array with um, maybe whatever that we have pass inside the parameter so in this case here I want to return user that has notification enabled so user where user dot notified or name or notified so I want notified as true let's try to save this and here also I will change this to try to save everything else again since this uh, singleton I will expect this value to be empty by now because I restarted my application. So again, let's try to create Michael with notified true and then Sam with um, notified false. Send again. I will expect to get two record of users, Sam and Michael. And when I try to send notification, let's see what will happen. You can see that only Michael received the notification. Let's try to 
I remove this thing here to avoid confusion. Let's try again. And again, my record here will be cleared since I restart my application. Same with false Michael again. And sorry, with true value here. Let's try to send this again. Make sure I get list of user. Same with notify true. Michael with notify. Uh, is that other way around? So I will expect for Michael to receive the notification. You know. It works. Maybe here I can just um, create a message. Uh, hey, try to use Pactic. Hey, um, user dot uh, name. New content has been uploaded. Let's try to save this. So. In a real world situation, Michael will receive the notification, and Sam, who did not subscribe, will not receive. Make sure everything is correct. Michael true, Sam is false. Let's try to send notification, and we can see notification has been sent. Now, to summarize this, basically, a module is actually separating the concern of each of the controller and service. So we are grouping all of them inside one folder here and this folder is being handled by user module. So this handle all the metadata here and again we don't have to uh, see here we don't have to actually do something like this which actually mix all of it. I could just import user module and it should solve it. So that should be it for this video I guess. Um, I explain something maybe um, quite in depth, but um, Next.js module can be quite extensive. We can have a dynamic module, which I will explain in some advanced topic of Next.js. Somewhere in the future, we can have um, the dependency injection in such here as well. So basically, these are the future provided by Next.js, which is called modules. Now in the next video, we will take a look into middleware. This middleware is almost the same, I think it's the same concept like uh, express middleware. So we will take a look into middleware concept in the next video. I would like to take this time to appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and click the bell button to stay notified whenever a new content has been uploaded. So be sure to share this video if you think this will help others to be the next Nest.js hero as well. Until then, stay tuned.